Driverless cars are now being tested on England's roads. One trial is here in Milton Keynes. The scheme, called Fetch, does just that. Remotely steered, an empty car collects the customer. Our service allows a car to be dropped to your doorstep, you drive it, and then you don't need to even park it. The, park dis the car disappears by itself after you're done with it. But unlike similar schemes, this company is taking things more slowly. For now, it's keeping real people in control. So a human can sit behind a control, um, set of controls and remotely drive cars. We start with that and slowly develop autonomy into our technology with the goal to get to full self-driving uh, in five years' time. The vehicle itself is a normal passenger car, but adapted. And we retrofit the car with our equipment um, to make it remotely drivable. We put cameras, antennas, modems and compute power to communicate with this vehicle. The scheme works with an app, allowing the customer to book their car on a smartphone for a pickup from anywhere, potentially challenging existing ride-hailing services such as Uber. So I have some of this car on my app. It turned up driverless, but now I can take the controls and drive off myself. There are many parallel efforts to develop driverless cars, including by big companies like Uber, Tesla and Google. But they suffered a setback when a pedestrian was killed during a road test in the US four years ago. A recent poll also showed 70% of the British public wouldn't trust driverless cars. But Fetch developers say they're focusing on safety techniques, with plans to include a backup driver during the initial phase. Remote driving um, uh, with the aid of technology can be made safer than even normal in-vehicle driving. And the reason for that is because we still have blind spots uh, you know, in our normal driving. We don't have them in remote driving because in our technology we have four cameras that cover 360 views around the vehicle at all times. Once the road trials are done, the next test is the public response. The Fetch app already has a waiting list of keen customers ready to embrace driverless technology.